Has Windows 365 made Chromebooks an even better tool for education? An inexpensive way to connect up to resources that allow us to do everything we need for school? Let's take a look. So here I am on my Chromebook. It's an Acer Chromebook 311, and it's a very inexpensive Chromebook, but it has what I need. It has a trackpad, a keyboard, a screen, and a webcam, as well as microphones and audio. So it really gives me everything that I need in order to do some basic computing. But what if I need to connect up to a Windows 365 machine in order to do something like work with Microsoft Power BI Desktop, an application for financial analysis or data analysis? Well, for many applications, I can just use a browser and I can connect up to the web interface for those applications. A good example of that would be Microsoft Teams or Microsoft Office, which feature web generate or web-based applications. But if I go to Windows 365, let's go to Windows 365. What this is going to allow me to do is take remote control of a computer that's running on Microsoft's data center. So if this Chromebook gets lost or stolen or I break it, I still have that machine running in the Microsoft data center and I can connect to it using another device and I haven't lost a whole semester's worth of work. Now, if I go in, I'll need to authenticate. So let me do that. Once I authenticate, you can see that it recognizes that I've been here. It recognizes the machines that I have. Now, one of the things with the authentication is Microsoft 365, the machine you purchase, is a subscription. So this particular machine has two virtual CPUs, four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, but it is running Windows 10. That is sufficient for what I'm doing. I had a lower powered machine that I wasn't as impressed with, but this machine has been working quite nicely for me for the things that I need to do. Now, that being said, it is about $40 a month to rent this machine. Over the course of a semester, six months, that might not add up to too much, and it might be something that's provided to you by your school or potentially an employer if you're, if you're looking at this from an employer standpoint. Anyways, it is an expense, but it's often less than running your own or going out and buying a whole laptop. And again, remember, if that laptop gets broken or stolen or if it needs to be maintained, that's up to you. So I could open this up in a browser and that would open my Windows machine right here in the browser, but there's a better way of doing it. If I download the remote desktop app, I can go to the Android store on the Chrome machine. Now, before I actually go to the store, I actually want to click this little URL that says get subscription URL. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that into my clipboard because I'm going to need that in just a moment. Then I can go to the Google Play Store and you'll notice that remote desktop is an application that I can download. You'll see that I've already downloaded and installed it here, so I don't, I don't need to go and do that. So I'll close these windows here. And if I go down here to my applications in my Google uh, Play Store here, I can go to my RD client, my remote desktop client, and that's going to open up the remote desktop client. That's going to allow me to connect to remote PCs as well as workspaces. You'll notice that there are no workspaces here. Well, if I click the little plus sign here, I can add a workspace or a PC if I want to connect to a remote PC. I'm going to connect to the workspace and this is where that URL comes into play. I'm going to paste that URL in there and then what I'm going to do is click next. It's going to go to Windows 365 and have me log in and then show me any PCs that might be part of my workspace. So I'm going to double click on the PC and it's going to ask me to log in again. So I log into that specific machine. Now you can see I've got a Windows machine running and when I last was using this machine, I'd been working on Power BI Desktop. So I can go in and continue to work exactly where I left off or I can go in and open up any new applications that I might have on this PC, including installing new applications, whatever the case may be. So I've got, for example, I put Microsoft Office on here. Obviously I could run Microsoft Office through a web interface, but let's say for some reason I'm using Excel and I need to use Excel plugins. The web app might not allow me to use Excel plugins, but I can use Excel plugins here on this full version of Excel that I'm running on Windows 10 on Windows 365. So there we have an inexpensive Chromebook connecting up to Microsoft Windows 365 and taking advantage of all of the features. I also have videos on the channel using a Raspberry Pi and an iPad to connect up to Windows 365, so you can check them out if you're using those devices.